Hey there, Min here. So in celebration of my 1000 subscribers on this channel, I am going to do a follow-up video on my most popular video, which is the DIY Amiibos video with your iPhone. So today I'm gonna to do something a little bit different and stay around because at the end, I'll show you the links where to get your um, season five Amiibos for Animal Crossing and also any of the Amiibos you want for the bin files. This one is gonna be a little bit different because today I am going to use the magic of QR codes. And if you want to learn more about QR codes, take a look at the link here. Also, if you wanna learn more about the original video that I did beginning of the year, take a look at it here as well. In order for you to use this tutorial properly, it's probably best to watch this video on either a television with your phone in hand or on another computer with your phone in hand so you can actually scan the QR code and walk through the process. All right, now let's get started. So before we can make our Amiibos, the first thing you need are some NFC tags. The specific NFC tags we need are the NTAG 215s. It doesn't matter which brand you get, just as long as it's NTAG 215. And you can get them in two formats, either in a plastic card like this, or a sticker. Now, make it easy for you. You can order them right here on the QR code above these two tags. All right. So now once you have the tags, the next step is to download the Amiibo program to write your Amiibo. So I will follow along and do the same thing with you with my trusty iPhone here. So first, you will need the Amiibos app, which is the app that allows us to write the Amiibos bin files into the NFC cards. And to do so, I make it simple. Take your trusty iPhone, open up your camera app, and scan this QR code here. And by doing so, it will bring us to the Amiibos application. And simply click on the download and download it onto your phone. Okay, and we can click open. We can follow along, click open and see. So there are a couple of things you need you need a key file, uh, import key file, and Amiibos that you're trying to write. So I will use one of these NFC stickers for our example today. So I'll use this NFC sticker here. So the next step is to actually find the key file and find the Amiibos that you want. Now, so the best way to do this is to actually use the browser on your phone and Google Amiibo bin file 2021. You follow the process I did on my first video to find that. Now, in this video, I told you that I'm gonna make everything easier, so just simply click on the QR code here, or scan it with your phone here in the QR code, and it will bring you to a location where there's key files and bin files. So let's do that here on the phone. We'll grab the phone and, and scan this QR code. And that will bring us to a Google Drive page with all the amiibos that you ever imagine. Now within this, there is a key retail bin file. We wanna click on that and click download. And it'll say, do you wanna download key retail bin file? We wanna click download. All right, so once we created this, um, let's go back to the, the Amiiboss app and we need to import the key file from the key bin, which we drop, we, we, we download it, okay? So, it says the successful imported your key file, we'll dismiss, and we're ready to write. Of course, when we're ready to write, click on ready to write, there's nothing, and if we write, there's nothing, add packages, there's nothing. Um, oh, actually, this add packages is pretty nice. So what we need to do then is to download the bin files that you want. So let's go back into the camera and scan this QR code again, right here. And that will bring you to the Amiibos archive. And from there, uh, let's find the Amiibos we want. 
and we can do this by um, like Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, so Super Mario Brothers, and I can do um, Cat Peach. I can do Peach, Peach Wedding. Let's do the standard Peach, and then hit download. And do I want to download it? Yes, I want to download it. Okay, so it's once it's downloaded, I should be able to go to a Mi Boss file. Oh, okay. Start it. So, ready to write. That's, whoops, add package. So, add bin package. Oh, there it is. And Okay, now I can um, dismiss and write. All right, so let's grab my sticker. Sticker here. Oh, see this? There's an error. My Ami boss. And write, hold connection to the internet, write. Ah, there it is. Okay, so you see um, the same sticker sometimes give you errors. It doesn't allow you to write, but what I found is you gotta hold it not directly on it, but just close enough, move it around a little bit. It sometimes doesn't like where you are, where the positions of it is. But anyway, now it shows me that I have proudly owned, successfully owned the Peach NFC. So now let's test this out. Whoops. Let's test this particular uh, sticker out to see if it actually works. So let me turn on my Nintendo Switch. So again, I'm using the my favorite game, the Mario Rabbit Kingdom battle game. Um, so I have here the Mario, Luigi, and Yoshi that we added last time. And now there is the Peach that's still empty. I have this sticker here. And I'll add Amiibo. A amiibo and simply go in and test it out. Oh, look, there it is. New content added. And there you go. Peach. <laughs> Peach. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Uh, there are a few things I think I want to add as well. Uh, there's a lot of questions on the comments asking about if I can rewrite this and I'll show you so let's go to NFC NFC tools to see what happens so we go to NFC tools and we go to read and you see that it's actually written and because it's protected by password you cannot rewrite this tag unfortunately you're going to have to use another tag to, to do so. That's the way it is. These tags are pretty cheap. Uh, they're about 36 cents, 40 cents a tag, either using the uh, plastic tag or the sticker tags. So that's what it is. Oh, the other questions is that um, I cannot find the folder on the previous video. Now, of course, if you follow this process today, you don't need to look for the folder anymore because they actually have it in the updated Amiibos app to do exactly that. You just go straight through it. It's much more straightforward process than before. Another key question is, if a lot of people ask, since my iPhone supports NFC, why can't I just use this and tap it directly to my uh, Nintendo Switch? Well, the problem is with the iPhone, because the iPhone does not support the, the different modes of NFC. So there is the reader mode, and then there is the actual the card, card mode. And you need your card emulations to simulate what this is and actually allow uh, a reader to read the card. Unfortunately, the iPhone does not allow you to do that. The only way you can, well, take that back. It does allow you to do that because obviously you can use this iPhone and use the NFCs to do payments and so on, but it doesn't allow you to do that for everything. 
So it's pretty locked down. Until they open up the language allow us to do that on the application itself, that's not possible right now. I hope that answers all your questions. And once again, thank you so much for supporting this channel and asking the great questions that you do and continue learning about various things about NFC. One of the things I'm thinking about doing for the next few videos is a bunch of things on QR codes in NFCs. It seems to be during the pandemic, everybody's using QR codes and it's quite fascinating. So if you've liked this content, if you like what I'm doing here, please give me a thumbs up for this video. And if you really like all the various things I do, feel free to subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. And oh, almost forgot. If you want a direct link to the season five QR code for Animal Crossing, it's right here. All right, talk to you later. Have a great day and see you next time. Bye.